Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Take a look at these three examples. Jill notices that five students out of 21 in class raised their hands. What percent of the class is that? Or, uh, if 12 students can watch the game from a VIP booth at the stadium and they represent 15% of the fans in attendance, how many students were at the game? And the last example is on a survey of 300 people, I want at least 20% of them to be older than 40. How many people would that be? Now what I have here to show you is uh, these are considered percent problems and a lot of times they are in story problem or word problem form. Now the first key here is to put them in word form that is the same structure. And I'm going to show you two methods on how to solve these kinds of percent problems. And this one is called equation method. The equation method. Let's take a look. Now what we have to do is take these percent situations and put them in a word structure that is consistent. Now here are two examples. 15% of 40 is 6. All right. What I want you to do is look at this first part, and that's the percent amount, obviously because of the percent symbol. All right. And then we have this of number of 40. It's out of. Okay, that's the whole amount. So you have $40, people, shoes, whatever it may be. And the is number here is 6. That's the part. In other words, we're talking about 6 out of 40. Represents 15%. So these word structures are the percent amount, the whole amount, and the part. Sometimes it's worded backwards, though. You have to be able to recognize that. And if you flip it around, in this case, 18 is near the word is there. 18 is the part number. That might come first. And then, of course, you have the percent amount, if given. And then you have the of number, which is always the whole part. All right. Now, in this case, we're talking about 18 out of 360 represents 5%. So what you need to do is be able to recognize certain situations and one of those things is unknown. Out of these three things, one is unknown in a percent problem. Sometimes the percent amount is, is gone. So what percent of 40 is 6? Or 18 is what percent of 360? Okay? The percent is missing. Or maybe the part is missing. 15% of 40 is what? Or what is 5% of 360? Or maybe the whole amount is being asked for. 15% of what is 6? Or 18 is 5% of what? All right, you have to be able to think of these percent problems in those kinds of structures. Now, this equation method looks like this. You just need to know three things. First of all, the word of always means multiplication. And I'm going to use a multiplication dot there. So I'm going to just write multiplication right below it. And the word is means equals. All right? Is is equals. Now, whenever it's a, a what, of course, that's going to be my unknown. I'm going to go ahead and just represent x there. And the x could be different things. It could be the percent amount or the part amount or the whole amount. And the last thing you need to know is the percent, if given, is always a decimal. So I need to think of that as 0.44. And then drop down my 78. So all I do is I translate it from a word problem into an equation. So here it would be 0.48 um, times 54. All right, now in these two cases, which happen to be the same structure, it's just plain old multiplication. I'm going to do 0.44 times 78, and that will give me my what number, the whole number. Here it's 0.48 times 54. And here are your two answers rounded to the nearest tenth, 34.3 and 25.9. 
All right, if you think you know what to do, hit pause on this video and try the next two. And I'm gonna, um, in a few seconds, work it out with you. All right, number three, what is, so x equals 51%, change that to a decimal, 0.51. And then of, remember, is always multiplication, and 158. All right, so we've got 0.51 times 158. Number four, what is 54% of 134? All right, multiply that out. Make sure your decimal is in the right place. 80.6 and 72.4. Now those four problems are all done the same way. Let's look at some other examples. Now we're going to mix it up a little bit. Again, we're using the equation method. Translate the words into an equation. Number 5, 55.7 equals what percent, so there's your x, of 153. All right, now think about it. Just a simple equation. How are you going to get x by itself? That's right. You're going to divide each side by that 153 number. All right, now in this case, you have to be careful about this. If they're asking for a percent, after you divide, you have to move your decimal point back over. All right, so go ahead and do that and divide 55.7 by 153 and then move your decimal back to the right, two places to make a percent. Number six, 78 is what percent of 150. Again, we're going to divide both sides by 150, and then your answer is supposed to be a percent. So after you divide, make sure you move your decimal over. And these other two problems are the same way 13 equals what percent of 156.1? Divide both sides by that number. And you're going to move your decimal point over after you divide. All right, you're looking for a percent. And finally, number eight, what percent of 159 is 135? Notice how I translated the words there. So you're going to divide this case by 159 in both places. And then move your decimal over because they are asking for a percent. So here are the answers. Note the percent sign and the decimals moved over. All right, I want you to try four more. In all of these cases, the of number is missing. That's the whole amount. And again, translate into an equation and make sure that your answer is in the proper form. Good luck. All right, number nine, 55 is 74, don't forget to change it to decimal, times x. Or 111 is 71.71 times x. And 0.77 times x equals 31 and 0.80, or I can leave the zero blank, I can drop that zero, times x equals 136. That's how you translate it into an equation. Now let's solve. You're going to divide both sides by 0 0.74. Divide both sides by 0.71. Divide both sides here by 0.77. And divide both sides here by 0.8 or 0.80. All right, final check of the answers. How did you do? Take a look. All right, students, thanks for watching this video. Remember, these are percent problems that are solved. And my method here was the equation method. 
Now look for the next video in this series, which is the proportion method, solving a proportion from these percent problems. All right, thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.